Hello. Today I'm going to talk about the Game Performance Assessment Instrument in Physical Education. The GPAI is a system designed to measure game performance behaviors that demonstrate tactical understanding as well as the player's ability to solve tactical problems by selecting and applying appropriate skills. The GPAI provides analysis of individual game performance components and or overall performance. Overall, there are seven components of game performance. The first one is base. Base is the appropriate return of performer to a base position between skill attempts. All three pictured performers are in an athletic base position and are in position to perform a necessary skill in a game. The second one is decision making. Our example Decision making is making appropriate decisions about what to do with the ball or projectile during a game. Now we're going to use team handball as an example. We have an offense and a defense. The decisions that the person with the ball needs to make is do I dribble, pass, or shoot? Who do I pass it to? Who do I guard or mark? Notice they make a pass. Defenders converge. Would it be a good decision to shoot right now? Uh-oh, I better guard these open players. The offense is attempting to create enough space to get a shot on goal. What decisions should they try to make and achieve their goal? Did they make a good decision? Skill execution is our third game component. Skill execution is the efficient execution of game skills, throwing, catching, dribbling, shooting, passing, etc. Notice we have our two uh, volunteers right here, twins, and they're demonstrating throwing and catching. Now he's demonstrating dribbling, shooting, passing. Our third game component is support. Support is providing appropriate support for a teammate with the ball by being in a position to receive a pass. Again, our example is team handball. We make our first pass. The defenders converge. No one is in position to receive a pass. Player one and two have now provided support. Uh-oh, no one's in position again to receive a pass. Players number three and six have now provided support. Our fifth game component is guarding and marking. Appropriate guarding marking of an opponent who may or may not have the ball. Defenders stay with the person they are guarding and marking. Notice they don't leave the person they're supposed to guard or mark. The goal of guarding marking is for the defenders to eliminate the space the offense wants to pass and shoot. Our sixth game component is cover. The players provide appropriate defensive cover, help, or backup for a player making a challenge for the ball. Notice player defender number three makes a challenge for the ball. Defenders number one and two provided support for defender, defender three who made a play for the ball. Defender number five provided support for defender number four who made a play for the ball. Defender number three provided support for defender number five who supported defender number four. Our last game component is adjust. Adjusting is the movement of the performer either offensively or defensively as necessitated by the flow of the game. Number four, adjust to create space and catch a pass while, de while defender number three adjusts to eliminate space. Number one, adjust to create space and catch a pass while defender number two and one adjust to eliminate space. The offense adjusts to the defense by recognizing number two is open and passes quickly to get the ball to number two. A dynamic game is full of players constantly making adjustments to a variety of situations. You have learned about the seven individual game components used to assess gameplay in physical education. Base, decision making, skill execution, support, guard and marking, covering, and adjusting. How would you rank from one to seven each game component in relation to your personal gameplay in your current sport? Hope you find this lesson helpful, and we'll see you on the courts.